Good morning. I am heading out to pick up the car that I have for a week. Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis. We're all filming. Hello, we are on our way to uh, we are on our way to Whistler. I am surprising Brad for his birthday. We just stopped here at Porto Cove. It's really beautiful here. It's raining, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. We are at the Sea to Sky Gondola and we just went out. It was really nice. It's kind of rainy, so it's a little bit wet up there. So now we're heading to our main destination, which is Whistler for Brian's birthday. Yay! <laughs> He's trying to connect his phone. Right, Brian? <laughs> yeah. So. It'll take about an hour to drive from here to, uh, from Squamish to Whistler. I think it'll take an hour, I think. Yeah, yep. an hour. So we are gonna head there and I'm gonna take Brian to one of my favorite places for lunch. I guess you'll find out soon enough. All right, time to head out.
everyone. We are on the top of a Black Home Mountain. I'm here with Brian. Yeah, it's really gorgeous up here. It's snowing and it's kind of warm. Much warmer than Whistler, hey? Yes. What did you think of the gondola ride? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. I was hoping the glass one was on a higher floor. I know, same here. That's kind of sad. Small little square. Yeah. Down from Whistler Mountain on the Peak to Peak Yeah, it's snowing. It's, it's a lot colder here on this, this mountain than Black Home for some other reason. It's really pretty. It is Sunday and this is my last day with the car. It kind of sucks, but you know, it's been a really awesome week. I've utilized it a lot. Um, today before I go return it, I am actually driving it all the way to, not to Coquitlam, to Chilliwack because I am one of the judges for the Barn Burner Barbecue. So I will be judging the Black Box competition. It's kind of like, um, not Iron Chef. Let's go. Is that called Iron Chef? Anyways, it's, they have a mystery ingredient and they have to create something with that ingredient. So I'm super excited to be part of that. Nat and Josh are coming for the ride. So is Paulina. She's going to be filming me today. It's going to be kind of weird because even though I'm starting to get used to being on camera, it's also very, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I'm probably going to be super nervous when she asks me all the questions, but it's all good. It's all good. And yeah, let's get going. I am currently waiting for Josh and Nat. I'm not 100% sure whether Nat's coming. Um, and then we're gonna go pick up Paulina and then we're gonna head over to Chilliwack. I am kind of hungry, so hopefully I'll have time to pick up something to eat on the way there. <laughs> it's probably gonna be something like McDonald's or something, but I'm hungry. I need to feed me. This uh, competition today was sanctioned by Kansas City Barbecue Society. The four competition meats were the standard chicken, pork ribs, pork shoulder, and brisket. Kansas City Barbecue Society is the largest sanctioning uh, barbecue organization with probably up to 500 contests this year, U.S. and internationally. What you have is your scorecard here. The boxes on the left side are going to be your entry numbers. Those will be announced by your table captain. The three spaces to the right are your scoring areas. We have three criteria that we score on. Appearance, taste, and tenderness. Don't know what we're gonna to have today. This is an open category. The only requirements is they do have to use three of the provided components, which is a smoked tenderloin, garlic tenderloin, duck wings, raw duck wings, and refried beans. So, you're going to get some interesting turn-ins. Alright, we are done with the barbecue competition. So it's really fun. Um, they're a lot more involved than normal. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had a really good experience. Unfortunately, I wish I came here earlier so that I could have walked around and tried out a whole bunch more barbecue, but it's okay, there's always next year. I'm looking forward to coming here again next year. It's really awesome. And I really enjoyed my time as a judge. 